On the 9th June 2025, the Drupal community announced its official AI initiative. And in this video, I want to go through that, uh, what it is and uh, what its goals are. And I will do in the end, uh, do a quick demo that you have kind of an understanding what the Drupal AI tools can deliver today. Uh, the whole field is, is, is uh, evolving. So uh, there is now a team around building the AI capabilities of Drupal. And it's still kind of early phases. Now you have... Um, uh, already stable releases of the AI modules there, but still a lot of things uh, the community needs to figure out. However, there are use cases already working very well. But first, let's dive into the AI initiative. So now if you go to drupal.org slash AI, you will find this landing page. And uh, the Dries, uh, the founder of the Drupal project, is basically announcing the capabilities of the Drupal AI initiative. And yeah, I, I won't, uh, I just go through uh, rather quickly. So there's some, uh, also some uh, case studies. Uh, so there are the Drupal AI makers. This is a set of Drupal agencies really focusing on AI, uh, also investing it. But there is already a lot of modules, available modules. So you can go on that. And these are basically the Drupal projects. And the main module is the Drupal AI module, which is, uh, nothing else than an AI layer within Drupal with batteries included. And I quickly want to explain that because this is very, very important to understand. So the AI module is basically the standard to enable AI capabilities or basically AI APIs within the Drupal code base. So as of today, there are 21 AI providers. And yeah, you as you see, there are all the major providers from OpenAI, from Anthropic, from Mistral, from Gemini. So you have everything there to basically interact uh, with your code base. And I want to quickly explain that. So think about this is Drupal. Let's say this is the Drupal core code base. And in the past, if you want to extend and add, uh, let's say, uh, AI capabilities, what you will do is you will just add your AI module, let's say custom AI module. And as of last year, some people came to together and say, hey, it doesn't really make sense to actually, yeah, um, everybody who wants to add AI capabilities to Drupal, build its own modules, and then basically uh, build its own layer of, let's say this is the AI provider, uh, builds its own layer to the AI providers. And now there is actually the solution out there to have this AI module. So this is really the AI project. So it's project slash AI. This is the link here, the artificial intro project, AI Drupal.org, which provides a standard internal AI for all your custom modules. So this is very, very powerful. So once we have this stable layer, and it's already stable, this part is stable now, uh, it's super easy to add custom modules and actually have a, a unified layer to, to yeah, exchange data uh, with, uh, with whatever AI provider you have there. And uh, so I, I wanted to highlight that because this is really one of the key goals of the initial development of the AI goal. But it doesn't stop there. So obviously, there are a lot of uh, use cases with AI within a CMS, uh, um, what you can do. And so there is the concept of AI agents. So basically, uh, th this is more a little bit of marketing talk and not really hands-on what it actually means and what it actually does. But well, in the end, it, it goes around, you can create content, you can test, uh, clarify content, check consistent brand voice, etc., faster creation, etc., etc., so there are agents already today that help you build sites, build content structures, etc. And I will do a demo in a min minute about that. But it doesn't stop there. So you have uh, also the capability to add chatbots. Um, basically, the chatbot itself will help you build content structures. So it's more like an admin helper chatbot, not an end user chatbot. But also, this is possible. It will be shown a little bit later. So you have also then AI features within your text editor. You basically can set the tone and voice of the text. You can generate text. 
also there is um, a very powerful feature uh, to add alternate text for images. I will demo that in a minute. There is also AI-powered search. So this is all stuff that comes out of the box. You still need to basically build the experience and you know uh, configure everything correctly. But it's also very powerful. So uh, basically what the AI module suite gives you out, the out of the box is the infrastructure to build um, rack applications. So this is super cool. Also AI translations, uh, workflows, and then it even goes beyond a simple agent, but actually building agentic orchestration. And this part is still heavily in development, um, but it's so cool what's already there. I won't demo that um, in this video. I will do lots of more um, demo um, demos and basically use cases, how you can build that. So yeah, I'm pretty excited that now the AI initiative is kind of officially announced and there is a team around it. And what they do is, uh, or, or what the Drupal community did is really be transparent about the about the goals and uh, there is even a document the Drupal AI strategy document that um, so I open it up here uh, which goes uh, it's a 12 page content uh, uh, document I won't go into the details but yeah if you have time uh, read it it's it's super interesting to follow along and what are the the basically the, the goals uh, or the, the also the main focus points um, uh, about it. So yeah, I think this is super powerful to align everything within the Drupal community. And uh, one thing I haven't mentioned it, everything is open source and available for free. So you basically can take the code, install it yourself and use these AI capabilities. So this is definitely a, a unique selling point if you compare it to many other closed source tools. Okay, they also have cool AI features, but it's hard to extend. Uh, and it's also, um, uh, it's not open source, so you cannot use it for free and also, you know, extend it the way you want. And so I'm very excited about that and also about this bold vision statement to say, hey, Drupal will democratize AI-powered digital experience through an open framework where innovation flourishes and, and under responsible human guidance. We envision a world where organizations of any size can create intelligent, adaptive digital experience without compromise and where advanced AI capabilities enhance human creativity rather than replace it. So this is a super strong and a very positive statement. I can fully stand behind this statement and I'm also happy to com contribute to that. Okay, so um, let's do a quick demo. Uh, first of all, what I want to show is, um, so here I have a Node Hive Drupal instance, and basically what I want is to create a new content type. And for that, I go to the content type section, and if and when you have the AI modules enabled, and I quickly uh, switch to the English version so you, you understand what, <laughs> what is on the page, there is a new button, generate with AI. So now I'm able to create a new content type. Um, let's create animal, an animal content type. So create an animal content type with fields, let's say number of legs, deadly to humans, checkbox, and maybe let's say a media, a, a, an image, just an image. Um, um, yeah, that's it. So let's see uh, what, what comes up. So now it will basically use the AI internal, the Drupal AI internal agents. So there is an agent that knows how to configure content types. There is an agent that knows how to configure <coughs> uh, fields. There is an agent uh, that knows how to configure taxonomy and taxonomy terms, for example. Uh, and Obviously, you could also write your own agents, so you kind of get the concept how, how this comes together. So now it's generating content type. It takes a couple of seconds. And uh, I can already go to the content type overview. And then you already see that there is a content type and um, animal. And now it's still generating 
And as you see, there is a body field now, audately to humans, number of legs. The media field is missing. Yeah, and I use this functionality uh, now uh, for yeah, uh, many times, and it's very, very stable. So it really builds what you want. So now you have the animal image. Now if I go to create content and I create the animal, I have the title. So let's say dog. Uh, I could choose an image. So maybe I select an image here. I'm not sure if I have a dog image. I don't have one. I select that one. Deadly to humans, numbers of legs, four. So that's pretty amazing. So it's super quick to create content types, new content structures, also complex content structures. Obviously, I could also change the, the fields and update fields, add fields, uh, rearrange fields through that UI. So that's certainly very powerful. Second small demo I want to do is the alt text generation. And as you see here, I already uploaded an image. And here, typically in the, in the past, I had to add the, uh, the alternative text manually. But now I have the ability to basically use the AI to generate the text for me. So I, click, I simply click on that button and it will send the, the, the AI, uh, the, the, the image to the AI, which then will recognize the, the objects in it and basically create the alternative text of that. So I can hit save, boom, and voila, I have here my new content type. Yeah, that was the quick demo about the AI in it initiative on Drupal.org. So I'm super excited, check it out. Um, yeah, join the community. If you want to help building it and see how things are going, the best way to start is basically on this Project AI module page. But also there is a very active community in, uh, in Slack. So if you go to the AI module, uh, Drupal Slack, and there is a, the AI uh, Slack channel, which is uh, yeah the general talk. So it's over 1,000 people already there. And if you want to contribute, you can join by going to ai-contrib, where there are the core developers, the core developers of the AI module also there. So I'm also there from time to time uh, to see what's going on and help building it, file bug reports if there are any. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, super active um, uh, what's going on and super happy to see how things evolve now. And if you're interested in more videos like that, um, consider subscribing it. I will do a lot of more demos about the AI module. Lots of things are happening. We are heavily investing it into the AI stuff uh, in Drupal, but also outside Drupal. I will cover lots of these topics here. And yeah, it's core uh, part of our strategy of the Node Hive Headless CMS. So um, yeah, uh, come back. And uh, until then, see you in the next one.